I just thought that um, I'd let you know what our, our population is like. Homerton is Hackney and the City of London, a very odd combination. The Homerton population is about a quarter of a million, the city is 11,000. And our representation, we have the majority of governors, of course, come from Hackney, and there are two of us who represent the City of London. And I suspect hardly any of the citizens of the city go to Hackney to have their medical care. <laughs> However, having said that, Homerton is in fact a fantastic hospital. We have an incredibly good board. Um, of the non-executives and the chairman come from incredibly um, good backgrounds. Indeed, the chairman was chairman of Nationwide <laughs> at one point. So we have a problem. Communication is, I think, the problem that, let's see if I'm doing, communication is our major problem. We are elected by members, many of whom have no idea who we are, and when we attempt to make contact, very often it just doesn't happen. And we do make every effort to find a way of including members and communicating as to what's happening and seeking their ideas as well. Our population is very mixed. 54% is white, 24% is black, 16% is mixed race, and about 3% is Asian. There are also RANs, which are mixtures of all sorts. In addition to that, we have a fairly large community of Orthodox Jews. And we've had two rabbis as governors at the moment. We only have one. So what have we done about trying to get some sort of interchange between us all? So we run a recruitment stall at the entrance of the hospital every month, a whole morning and it is managed by the, the member of staff in the hospital who is meant to be, and I use the word advisedly, meant to be liaising members with governors. She is there sometimes. But the recruitment stall is in fact managed by a governor. And it's amazing once you get over the fear of tackling patients and visitors as they're coming into the hospital, how many you get to sign the form? The usual sort of question is, well, how much do I have to pay? And of course we reassure them it's not there. But more importantly, what do I get out of it? And after a little while, some of them resign. It may seem very strange, I don't know if all of you had this sort of experience, but we do get letters tendering their resignation. Members' evenings, these are very, very variable because the organization has not been good. We take a medical topic, I suspect most of you do the same thing. The evening is chaired by a governor and we have a sort of in-house up-to-date on various things going on in the hospital and a question and answer session as well. Attendance varies from 5 to 30 to 50, there's no way of knowing who will come and why they come and why they don't come. If we have something on sickle cell, because of the Afro-Caribbean population, it's pretty good turnout. If we have something on organ donation, they're all petrified, so nobody comes. <laughs> so this is a big problem in that sense. We get a newsletter sometimes in the Hackney Health Watch, but not always, and not a lot of people bother to read it anyway. We've tried governor's surgeries or drop-in sessions. City of London, nobody ever turns up. Hackney, one or two turn up. So we just haven't bothered. 
Finally, the members' AGM, usually the highlight of the year. We have something like 100 or so come along. And it always has an element of excitement. Two years ago, we had a five million pound credit at the end of the year, the finances. So one of the members of the, of the audience got up and proposed that this should be equally divided amongst the membership. <laughs> La last year, the challenge came a little bit earlier. The chairman welcomed everybody, and as he was about to begin the first report, up came a member and said, I wish to place a point of order here. This meeting should be null and void. So we had a very interesting 50-minute discussion as to why it should be, and the basic problem was that he had not received his annual report until that meeting. Anyway, we, we resolved all that, but there are lots of fun that comes out of that meeting. So what are we going to do about all of this? We've decided as a Council of Governors that um, oh, we're not... We decided as a Council of Governors that we're going to establish a new committee, but one that we will run ourselves. It's got a bit of a mouthful, Member Engagement Communications Committee. The membership is going to be seven governors, chaired by myself, by the lead governor, and we will have uh, also the head of media when we require him, the uh, Secretary of the, of the Trust and Head of Governance when we require him, and we will also invite executives as and when we would like them. And we're going to have a really thorough look at where we have gone wrong in making some sort of attempt to interface with our membership. And then we're going to go into the demography, the ethnicity, the membership numbers, the recruitment, all the things that you can see that I've listed here. It will take some time, but we would rather do that and take the time so that we will come up with a positive program which we hope will provide the right sort of um, interchange of ideas and communication between members and ourselves. The issues that we have with our local press are probably the greatest difficulty that we have at this moment in time. When there is a vendetta, we have currently a vendetta going on between one of the reporters who doesn't even live in the catchment area on one of the services in the hospital. And this has been going on for some two months. And, they, and we also have anonymous criticisms as well. Members undoubtedly read the local press. And <laughs> as you may expect, the best communication that we've had between members and governors has been members stopping governors that they may recognize in the street or in the hospital to say, is it true, is it safe for us to come to this hospital? And it's really, really tragic because, as I say, it's an excellent hospital, not just because I'm a governor there, but over the last 12 years, it has developed into a tertiary center for neonatology. We have, for example, the highest, the best results in the whole country for the survival rate of 24-week pregnancies. We have lower than average neonatal deaths, stillbirths, maternal deaths, and all those figures. Um, the other departments, are, we got outstanding for our accident emergency from CQC. So it's a great hospital, but it is sadly criticized by its users and the members that we have. The membership, before I finish, just to 
give you an idea of how badly our relationship is with our members. We have, if I can find, we have, in fact, we had eight nominations for the four Hackney public governors out of 4,137 members. We had three nominations for the one outer public governor out of 897 members. We had one nomination, me, out of the 67 city members. It's really very sad when we look at how hard everybody works. The governors, we all give our time freely and we go to get ourselves involved in many, many ways. But until we get this ability to communicate almost one-to-one -one with members, I think we're failing in our job. So I commit to you, we commend to you very much what we're hoping to do. I hope that you may find it useful too if you want to adopt these sort of ideas we have. We're, the most recent one that we're planning to put into effect now, I persuaded the chairman this will happen, is to adopt a ward so that each governor will have a ward to visit and visit on his or her own, obviously not out of the blue, but contact the sister or the nurse in charge of the ward and make an appointment, but then be free to wander around and talk to patients. We're not going to talk about medical conditions. We're not going to talk about medical treatment. We're going to talk about how they're being looked after, are they happy, etc., etc. I think this is very important. So we are involving ourselves in the hospital with as much as we can, attending outpatients, talking to patients, trying to get them to sign forms to become members. But the greater majority of the membership, unfortunately, we have still failed to contact. But that is going to change. Thank you all very much.